Hi, I'm Mike. You may need to replace the door glass on your range if the door glass becomes shattered or very dirty over time. For this repair, you'll need a quarter inch nut driver, a V10 hex bit, and a pair of needle nose pliers. Before doing any repairs, completely disconnect your appliance from its power source. To begin a repair, we're going to remove the door from the range. And we're going to do that by first opening up the door. Next, we're going to lock both the hinges that are attaching the door to the range using our needle nose pliers. Just take your pliers and lift up on the lock until the lock is snapped in on both sides. So once both the hinges are locked, next we're going to pull up and then pull the door out. So once you remove the door from the range, we're going to place it on a flat safe surface such as this one. Next, we're going to unscrew the door handle from the inside of the door as well using your other hex bit. Next, we're going to remove the screws that are holding the bottom of the door to the inside of the glass assembly. Next, we're going to remove this inner panel which holds the glass in place. Using our quarter inch nut driver, unscrew the screws. So once all the screws are removed, just go ahead and pull up on that panel. Next, we're going to take out the door glass. Just going to gently lift up and pull it out. Then we're going to grab our new OEM replacement door glass. If you don't have one of these glass panes already, you can find one on one of our online stores. And just set the glass so that it's even and secure. Next, we're going to replace the top of the door. Next, we're going to take our two screws that go into the door handle. We're just going to slide them into position. Next, we're going to take our screw brackets. I'm going to slide them onto this each screw. So once you put the front door on and it's lined up correctly with the corresponding holes, next we're going to put in this bottom hinge. Next, we're going to tilt the door on its side, and we're going to line up the two screws we put in previously to the door handle on the outside of the door. We're just going to screw it in lightly, this way we can place our other screw where it needs to be. And then just tighten both screws. So once the door on the range is all secure and set, we're going to place the door back onto the range, and we're going to do that by placing each hinge back into the range. We're going to hold it in place. We're going to use our needle nose pliers and push down on each lock. So once both the hinge locks are loosened, just push up on the door. And once the door is closed, your repair is complete. Finally, don't forget to plug in your appliance. Thanks for watching our video. Please like, comment, or share, and if you liked our video, please subscribe down below.